Hi, my name is Tamara May and I'm an autism researcher at Deakin University. I want to tell you about my exciting possible campaign. We believe there may be many undiagnosed girls and women with autism spectrum disorder and we want to find them. Around four males for every one females are diagnosed with autism, but we're not convinced that this is solely due to biological causes. We suspect that females are more likely to go undiagnosed because we're just not good at finding them. This might be because girls have fewer disruptive behaviours than boys do, or because we think autism is a male condition, so we overlook the symptoms in girls. We need your support to help us start this project to find the lost girls. We want to search for undiagnosed cases of autism by offering a free diagnostic assessment to parents, both mums and dads, who have a child with confirmed autism, who think that they might have been missed as a child to see how many lost girls compared to lost boys we find. We also want to understand what factors like intelligence level or differing interests and obsessions might result in girls being lost so that we can then make sure that these aren't overlooked in the present generation of girls with autism. The symptoms of autism include social problems such as difficulties forming friendship and a lack of empathy and not picking up on the emotions or social cues of others. Restricted and repetitive behaviours are the other symptoms and include being rigid in thinking patterns, having difficulties with change and non-functional routines and ritual and also having intense obsessions. Studies suggest that girls with autism may have fewer restricted and repetitive behaviours than boys. It is also possible that restricted behaviours in girls are just overlooked. So for example, intense interests in girls might be more age or gender appropriate such as having an intense interest in a pop star like Justin Bieber or in animals like horses and so we think those are age appropriate and gender appropriate so we just don't notice them. The aim of our research is to try and find some of these lost girls and understand if some of these factors might have contributed to them being lost. I am part of a group of autism researchers and psychologists from Deakin University who have expertise in females with autism and we've made it our mission to find the lost girls. Please pledge your support to this important project via our possible campaign, Autism Lost Girls, so that we can carry out this important research. Thank you for your support.